What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another episode of the uh, Croif to Glory, aka the first owner RTG, aka the first owner PMRTG. I I don't know what the hell that intro was. I'm feeling a little bit loosey goosey, a little bit spicy right now. So I thought we'd just be dumb for the day. Now, in terms of the day, it, it should be a very very good grind. We've got so much to do that I actually don't know how I'm going to go about doing it. I built this squad late last night on stream, and then we started chipping away at the objectives ah, man <laughs> gameplay yesterday through the objectives as well was just the worst now we uh, we have progressed nicely though so we've done six out of six for assists with the cdms we just turned croif into a cdm and then cheesed the assists in that way uh assist with french players in 11 separate matches so we're about halfway there uh four out of ten finesses this is the biggest stress i've had ever my mbappe and you can't tell me I've like all of a sudden gotten bad at the game. Like, I, dude, last week everybody's like, man, you're insane at the game, man. Oh my God, this is crazy. Whoa, you're good. Oh my God. Now I miss chances with Mbappe and stuff like that inexplicably. Like in playing bundling now all of a sudden, man, you're just not good. Hey, Nick, you're just not good. Hey, bro. So I, I don't know. Apparently since Friday, I've just become the worst FIFA player on planet earth. I cannot play my style of play anymore. And absolutely. It's apparently just because I've forgotten how to use the controller that I was dominating people with three weeks for the last three weeks before Friday. So anyways, today is all about turning a new page. I'm going to ignore the crap that happened yesterday. We're going to try and just be positive because we have a lot to grind through. So we do have this Andre to craft. I don't even like the card, but as I promised you guys, basically every player objective that comes out on this road to glory, we grind and we get, and then we either use or don't use either way. But we, that's one of the challenges and one of the, the targets for this series. At some point today, we will get this done as well. And we have crafted. We we're up to almost 700,000 coins yesterday. That is because of champs rewards and all of that stuff. But uh, we did get up to 700, almost 700k. And then built a bunch more gold upgrade packs. So we have another 51 packs to get through. We're going to do that. We've got playoffs today. I don't know how many arrivals we're going to play exactly. We, well, I mean, I think we, I already got the seven games on Thursday, right? So technically, I don't think I actually need to. Do I? No, yeah, so I, I don't technically need to play Rivals. I'm probably going to, just to, to warm up today. But we can ignore it if we want to. This is the important target for the day. So we've got our playoffs run to do. I'm concerned. I'm not even kidding. I'm straight up concerned that I might just bottle this, man. With how bad I've played this past weekend, I'm concerned. Because the playoffs, if I'm completely honest, even when I was playing well, even when the servers were good... I always struggled in the playoffs. Yes, we went 5-1. and one. Yes, we went 5-0 and oh, and then, you know, gifted wins to, to uh, the, the peasants of Nottingham. But the FIFA peasants of Nottingham Forest, if you will. I still struggled. It was still very hard. Everybody plays in this game mode like their life depends on it, which I don't blame them, right? You're trying to get into Weekend League, which has good rewards without you even having to try. So everybody's trying to win their games in playoffs, of course, which is why I love everybody when we're doing the... Um, the, the Robin Hood stuff for each other. I do think it's a it's a positive. Nevertheless, we have that to play today. We got quite a bit of grinding to do. I don't really know what squad I want to go with. This, again, is the squad that I built for the objectives grind for Andre. To try and get Frenchman in there, etc. I did want to just try and use this Dan Juma. He's okay. Nothing particularly special with him, but he he's all right. Fakir, same thing. He's all right. I... Again, I think he does really well depending on the formation you're working with. Benzema doing well in a two-striker formation. Fakir, I've seen do well for people in a two-striker formation. These guys, when I bring them into my setup, in my 4-2-3-1 setup, in my lone striker setup, with wide cams is where Fakir would be playing. I can't seem to get the best out of these guys, man. So, I don't know. Today's going to be a very experimental day while also then trying to qualify for Weekend League. Uh, to get the intro going as well, why don't we just bop some of these packs let's do at least 10 of them to get the day started and see where we end up so what the hell is that oh i think that was that from the that might have been from andre i mean oh god the rare isn't even a gold player goodness <laughs> that's tough okay well whatever we move on no big deal a dupe mbappe incoming i'll take a messi today i'll take a Lionel. He'd be exactly what we need, guys. Then we could have Croy from Bappe and Messi in, in, the, in, in part of our front four. Oof. That'd be spicy. 
god uh, how many viewers how many subs how many how many subscribers on on youtube will we lose if we hit a messy today do you have an idea when league SBCs will come no it, last year was november so I, it could be again november I, I i'm not entirely sure i feel i feel like man i really don't want to be doing discarding of players but anyways I feel like it'll be about the same as as last year mid-november if we even get it have ea even talked about league SBCs coming back so they're our first boards oh well that's another discard i'm pretty sure yeah have ea even spoken once about i uh not even icon SBCs. sorry about league SBCs. we might get upgrade SBCs today true true we did get upgrade SBCs through one to watch the 78 pluses that is true Okay, back to back boards. Here we go. I think if you get messy, I'm going to report you. Okay. For lewd and indecent behavior, huh? All right, I got it. I'm down with that. All right, we'll open down to, to 40 just to get the, the day rolling. We're back to doing 10 of these at a time. Okay, back to back to back. No, dude, it's all discards. I need to deal with these 83s in the club, man. It's getting ridiculous. This is such a waste of effort. Ay yay yay. We need upgrades of some sort, man. Even if it's like inform packs or something. 83 rated inform pack repeatable. I'll do that to just try and get Rafi. Okay, back to back to back to back. Boards. That's another discard. No! Dude, what is that? It, oh, God. Three straight 83 discards. Four straight 83 discards. You sell monkey matchups tomorrow? Probably. Yep, yep. I could see that happening for sure. What about like a guaranteed uh, road to the knockouts? Okay, back to back to back to back to back, boards. I think finally that's not a discard. Let's go, boys. Beautiful. Things you love to see. Can we go back to 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 back? Boards? Take a cheeky walkout now. Damn it, dude. You guys cursed me. Player picks today? I wonder I wonder when we'll get player picks back. Actually, now that you, that now that, that has been mentioned. That'd be very cool to get. I wonder I wonder what oh, we want to walk out here. Oh god, Discardi, as Mr. Itani would say. Pack Messi and Ronaldo after two weeks of Wait, they're both discard? Oh my god, dude. The pain. The absolute pain, bro. Holy. All right. Maybe we open a 70. We still have these 78 pluses because we keep crafting other packs. These 78 pluses are just sitting here chilling. Are these 83 plus packs? Apparently. I think they're not even 83 plus. They're just 83 packs. All right. Well, there's a 78. Let's get into the day's grind. Yeah, Pokes. I've always said that EA are very inconsistent at giving upgrades to players. And then some weeks, uh, a player that's an 86 will get an 87 and it'll be a shit upgrade. Um, and then a guy will go from a 79 to an 82 and get an incredible upgrade. I just wish it was just consistent. Give the lower rated guys nice upgrades. Give the higher rated guys nice upgrades. Like, why not? They're hard to pack no matter what. Why not actually have them be good? I That was. That was 20 gifted subs from Brian. Look at that. Just blew up the chat. Oh, no. All right. Let's, let, let's, let's focus up, boys. Come on. Let's focus up. We got 20 gifteds here. First game of the day, that's a very cool team. He's in here. And a goal it is. No long wait for the opener today. He plays. And that pass could be troublesome. Rifle against the box, but back in play. To see. Oh, this is looking promising. Ronaldo. And an astute piece of defending. Bro, have they buffed the AI, like, auto-interceptions, man? The amount of passes I make into open space where he's just, like, just been a bad FIFA player and left passes open, and his Marquinhos just lunges into an interception without him doing anything? Whoa! Dude! They have fucked me! I'm sorry! They have, dude, they have screwed me! I, if this was last week, I'd be beating this guy about 5 nothing, Dude, I'm sorry. They have done something to every part of this game. You can't tell me otherwise. 
Dude, this is inexplicable, man. Like, what is that, man? Look at my Cruyff can't even settle a pass. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. It's just inshallah ball now. It is. I'm sorry. Unreal. Got to solve world hunger to score, boys. Oh, my God. Oh, settle the ball. 33 tackle attempts. Only four made. 33 tackle attempts. This game has been fucking changed to cater to brain-dead football fans. I'm sorry, man. This guy is awful. Off. I should be beating this guy 5-6-0. This game should have been dead. Dead and dusted. Great ball. Inshallah ball. What a play. Oh! You can't hold me down still, EA. You can't hold me down still. Let's go, baby. Johan Cruyff. Could be a chance to break here. Oh, what an opportunity. Does he actually save that? Bro. All right. I, I mean, Cruyff should just be scoring that chip, really. But we got it. 4 nothing, boys. W. Good stuff. They will now make you send them up. I know it's 4 nothing, but... What a ball. Let's go. All right, this is a deserved scoreline in my opinion, boys. For sure. They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with Oh, opportunity here, Stuart. And a goal. He's put it away. A celebration. Okay, I'm trying to skip. I'm trying to do L1, R1. It's not letting me skip. That might be an own goal. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. You're six nothing down, countering crossing still. All right, well, GG, GG, boys, GG. I'd be very interested. I would say this guy has had at least sixty attempted tackles, man. And I, I think he gave away one foul, even though he missed pretty much all of his tackle attempts. Sixty-one attempted tackles. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Man's failed 50 plus tackle attempts and only given away one foul. And EA said they fixed the fouling system. Oh lord, dude. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, what did that take us? 25 minutes to find a game? It's four bar! <laughs> 25 minutes to get a four bar. Oh god. I'm gonna go into it because I hate myself, apparently. I'm a glutton for punishment. Okay, this guy's using Johan Cruyff's loan? Let's go, baby! I really like that uh, Timo Werner is a great CDM. Oh my god, what is that run? Well, that's a problem. I hate this game. How does Quadrado get beat so bad there? Well, here it is again. And the defending simply isn't good enough. Being productive for them. That AI block, man. Wow. Dude, like, how is man's Johan Cruyff and fucking goddamn Timo Werner so good defensively? What the fuck is going on? No, man. Nabil Fakir. What the... F and then, let me guess, that's accurate, right? Of course. No way. Benzema fucked it. No way. No way. Genie's in on net there, man. That is such an easy pass for a four-star weak foot. I can't, dude. Like, that. what the f*** is this sh man? No, I mean, I don't, even make, I don't even make the pass. It's offside anyways. I mean, it's not even the fact that it's offside. I can't even make a... There's like six yards of space to play the ball into. I can't play the football I used to play last week. This guy is defending with fucking Johan Cruyff, dude. And being rewarded. Being rewarded. Please fuck me. Look at he's still defending with Johan. Look at this.
Man has a point two expected goals. Got a cheesy little one nothing lead. Nightmare situation, boys. Absolute nightmare situation right now. Thanks. Oh my god, Sterling almost fucked that. Dude, again. Chat, how much space was there to play that ball in on net? Why is my through ball being passed at Azpilicueta instead of through the gap? What do what am I doing wrong there? That's my fault. I, you know what? I am forcing it, though, to be fair. Dude, I can't stand when guys bottle it and still tackle the ball through you. What? Dude, since when is, like, this fucking... What, was that Romero? Give me the advantage! Santa Marie! This is so bad! This guy is the... How am I gonna lose to this moron? How? How am I gonna lose to this degenerate? Just didn't take that angle exit properly, man. I had to preload the shot because of the delay, but like you'd expect him to do a drag back 90 degrees. He did like a drag back into 180 degrees, so the shot was so off balance. Nice. How does Stones get ahead of that pass? How? And the fourth official confirming that we'll have one additional. I had to do that. You see the frame dropping, by the way, as I go to the ball? You see the frame dropping as I go to the ball there, chat? Why is he stopping running? This guy's doing some mad shit right now, man. He's doing some mad shit. That's like the second or third time I go for the ball and it just freeze frames. I'm going to concede here. He's just going to shoot it across body like a... I'm going to fucking break something. Look at the frame dropping! How does Mbappe f*** that pass? Can anyone explain to me how Mbappe f*** that pass to Cruyff there? What? Like, what am I, what am I supposed to do? Like, I, what I love is that you guys think I'm playing bad or some shit. As if you haven't watched me for three weeks melt shit players like this before. And so the penalty shootout about to commence. And as a player, this is when you have to hold your nerve. And it's gone in. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And he finds the net. He could hardly miss. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. And confidently converted. Job done from the spot. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. His turn to try to convert from the spot. He had to score. Well, the responsibility is on his shoulders. Failure to score, and they lose. Penalty saved! And that's the end of the story! Drawback AI needs sorting. Nothing in f gameplay needs sorting. Period. Nothing is wrong with this game. Stop f saying that sh The patch didn't change damn near anything. You want to know what the f patch changed? It killed the servers. The only problem with this f game right now is that servers that's the issue it's only servers trust me these morons i would put 10 past in clean gameplay i'm telling you right now it has nothing to do with gameplay changes or anything it's all pure server not actual mechanical gameplay like dude i played guys that play that defended with their striker countless times but i'd be able to like left stick dribble through them tiki taka one two three passes do a little skill move here he comes in for a tackle a skill move there i can't do anything
Dude, half the time a pass to my player in open space, I guess because of delay, like gets gets arced towards his player. Fouls are broken. I don't care. In clean gameplay, guys that dive into like these last two players, 60 tackle attempts, 40 tackle attempts, you just a left stick dribble around them, man. Let them overcommit a million times over, dude. It doesn't matter. Yeah, the fouling system is broken, but honestly, give me the broken fouling system back. Give me the fucking finesse shots from range back. Give me the broken keepers from inside the box back. As long as I can play. As long as I can dribble. As long as I can do tiki-taka passing. I can't do fucking any of it. The old 15 ping, just kidding, 40 ping. Beast FC. This is a guy I play all the time as well in champs. Oh, today's going to be good. Oh, it's going to be good. That's how bad delay is. That was a pass to the like 180 degrees upwards. I can't, I can't, there's no way. There's just, it's not, you can't play FIFA like this, dude. And he's gonna score that too. That's the level of fucking FIFA I have to play to score in this delay, dude. I can't, it's too nuts. It's too impossible. Ah! What is that? Oh my god, I can't do anything! Holy shit, what is that frame drop? Oh my god, I can't move! What is happening? Am I on 400 ping or 20? What the fuck? I can't, I can't do any- Guys, I'm not kidding when I say I can't move. But it seems like he's dribbling and doing cancels and shit, no problem. Nah. I, my God. Literally, inshallah, football. A dinked ball into the box to an insta header downwards to a first time shot. No worries, though. I try to do an insta shot, and of course, Cruyff takes a touch and then gets smothered. What a play! Of course, I don't score! Fuck! What a play, boys! Are you kidding me? That first time pass off? Of course I don't score. Game, man. What in the fuck are these touches and passes? Like, if he passes that first time, Fakir's in on net. I hate this game. I, 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 I hate it. I, I, I hate it. I, you can't, you can't, I can't play like this, guys. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. All you think is, all I'm doing is complaining for no reason. Bro, I didn't say anything like this the first three weeks of the game. It's like I'm playing FIFA 20 delayed gameplay again, man. I can't, I can't, I can't play like this. It, it's just RNG football now, man. Your players don't do the things you command them to do. So it's just whether or not the game decides your player releases a shot at the right time. Or whether or not the game decides that your keeper makes a save. Or whether or not your play the game decides whether you make a pass at the right time. Or the tackle is correct. Look at Kante stepping behind Benzema for the pass. It fucking Kareem Benzema, bro. Oh, I'm going to lose it. Of course. The last 15 minutes of action. Play it into the gap! It's a freaking double tap triangle, Kareem! Holy shit, Cruyff is gone! He's literally gone if he makes that pass! It's Benzema, dude, with an engine! He literally has the best passing of any striker right now! What the f***? Right back to him! Hey man, there you go! There's no way he's scoring. Pressed all game and his whole team has full stam. How's he done that? Five minutes I can't left. even make passes. How can they nudge in front late on here? Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. There's a green time shot. I can't even clear a ball once I've actually won possession back. Well, that's how to put in a clean tackle. I can't. D fuck this game. I'm not playing this today. Sorry, I'm not playing this today. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not, I'm not doing this today. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not letting a fucking video game ruin my day because the servers are a pile of shit. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. That's my last game for the day. Uh, at least in terms of playoffs. I'm not, I'm not doing it.
I, I'm not going to drop game after game after game in the playoffs because I'm literally playing in three second button delay. And then you concede that, like, can anyone explain what even happened there with his Benzema goal? He panicked, red timed a shot, facing away from the net, and Benzema spun and scuffed the ball into the sky, and then it floated into the net. Like, no, I can't, I'm not, I'm not putting myself through that, dude. It, this game, whether it's bad servers, whether, I don't know what's happened. I feel like it's the servers, because I don't think there's anything fundamentally different with gameplay itself. It has to be the servers, dude. It has to be the servers, but the sir. Look, I mean, look at how long it takes to go from this screen, okay, back to here. Look at what is that? Five second. I'm on PS5. What? Two weeks ago, everything was instant. Everything everywhere was instant, man. What is happening? Look at that. Nice little header away. Benzema bottles it. I mean, dude. Oh my God. Bottles it, but is rewarded with a floating equalizer right at the tail end of the game. Literally zero brain cells used there. No, it's not hyper motion. You guys are out of your mind. I'm sorry. All, all love and respect for me. But it's not hyper motion. It's not even the new patch. It's not. I'm telling you, man. It's just the servers, dude. It is just the servers. I'm, I promise. The game is fine. It's just the servers. Stop saying it's hyper motion. Oh, the latest patch that nerfed keepers from range somehow makes all my team move in mud. Like how, when I'm trying to left stick dribble, literally I'm trying to intricate dribble through five, six, seven out of the 10 inputs with my left stick are just being ignored. What? I'm trying to dribble through a guy tackling and instead of moving to the left and to the right, my Mbappe just stands still and then gets clattered. That is delay. That is not has nothing to do with game coding. Has nothing to do with the patch. It's just server delay, dude. And again, that's why I get so irate because we got such a good gaming experience. Fucking finally, after four or five years of shit gameplay and shit servers, they launched the game with pretty fucking decent gameplay. Couple of little issues, fouling and 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 finesses in nonsensical areas. Couple of little issues. Keeper's a bit nuts in the box. It's like it's FIFA 18 again. Anyways, we get such enjoyable, fast, clean gameplay for three weeks. And now we're back to just playing in fucking mud, bro. In mud. Oh, my God. Oh. <sighs> At least we have packs to open, guys. Ha, 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 ha. Give me back my club from three weeks ago. I'll give you back Mbappe. I'll give you back Fakir. I'll give you back Kante. I'll give it all back to have clean gameplay. I, I will. I, I will. It means nothing to have better and better and better players when the servers get worse and worse and worse. The fact that I miss using Fabinho in clean gameplay and, and the fact that I miss using Enaki Williams at striker in clean gameplay versus now having Kante and Mbappe in delayed gameplay shows that it doesn't matter what type of team you have. If the gameplay servers are broken, the menu servers are broken, it's impossible to enjoy. Bro, it's like running around trying to play Fortnite or COD or whatever, and you're trying to build and there's just like, delay, you can't even pull stuff out. Or you're trying to move and turn and jump and, and slide cancel and COD and everything, every command, half your commands get ignored. It's, it's so jarring. It's so infuriating on every level. It's not the patch. It's not nothing, man. They just got to like, I don't know what they need to do to fix the servers. Like what, is, what has happened since Friday? Whatever's happened. Maybe they've got server down, like server downage or something going on right now in certain areas. So maybe it's like certain parts of North America, certain parts of the UK that are dealing with these issues because like, I'm not seeing any other content creator tweeting or posting videos or asking what's happened to server gameplay. Like no one's done anything. Is it because all content creators are scared of being abused? Because the second I mention something bad that the servers are, all my mentions are, shut up, dude, you're terrible. Even though we go rank one and smash nerds left and right. And then when I was doing well, I was a shill. When I was tweeting a couple of weeks about enjoying gameplay, the servers are good, I'm really trying, I'm focusing on getting better, it's, shut up, dude, you're a shill. So I can't win either way. So maybe no wonder content creators aren't talking about the servers being a mess because they just get abused like I do all over social media or in the YouTube comments.
Pugs was losing his mind yesterday on the servers. Dude, I'm telling you, man, it's un... It's, 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 it's unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Like, can someone at EA just address it and be like, okay, guys, we're just going to take the servers down for a, an hour, three hours through the middle of the night. We're going to reset everything, reset about it, reset all the servers, relaunch everything, fucking turn it on and turn it off and, and see if that fixes it. Skills was complaining about it last night as well. And Skills plays at night, which normally should be a little bit better gameplay. I'm just, oh, it's so jarring because I love this game. I, I actually love this game. In that clean gameplay, there's nothing more satisfying than being able to left stick dribble, do skills here and there where it makes sense, play passes how you want, shoot from where you want, actually be able to compliment your opponent if they break you down and score, beat 17 AI players, and then another AI player is lunging into it, so you do a fake shot, cancel, play it across, score, tap it. There's so many ways to enjoy this game in clean gameplay. And so many ways to not enjoy this game in bad gameplay, no matter how good of players you have. And that's what pisses me off the worst. How, the, the thing that jars me the worst is these 12-year-olds that reply to me on Twitter, Dude, shut up and be grateful you have Mbappe. Hey man, are you dumb? Are you dumb? Because apparently if you have an Mbappe, you shouldn't be criticizing gameplay. Apparently. Fuji was losing his mind yesterday in the servers as well. Like, bro, what have they done? So there are other content. I don't see it. I don't see it on YouTube. I don't see it on Twitter. So there are other content creators that are losing their mind about it too. Well, that's good to know then. It's not just all in my head or it's not all North America. I was thinking maybe like North American servers got rocked. I haven't really seen Run the Fun Market complain about it. He's on the East Coast. I know Zway's on the East Coast. I know they've got like a server basically in their backyard there. So maybe it's not so bad on the East Coast like that Miami, the New York type of thing. Maybe it's a bit better there. But bro, it's, it's, it's crazy. It really is. I miss I miss this the clean servers from a couple of weeks ago, man. The clean servers from late September into early October. Don't tell me it's gonna we're going back to like it was FIFA 18 pre-patch. FIFA 18 pre-patch, the difference was the, the the actual coded game was good, and then they reverted the game back to being an AI, RNG, like noob friendly pilot trash like it was in FIFA 17. This year the, the patch hasn't done much to the gameplay. I still find the gameplay great, but it's like, since the patch has come out, the servers are dead. But that's the craziest part, man. Is I feel like we're going to go back to being sad and missing early FUT22 gameplay when the servers were clean and the gameplay was rewarding. <sighs> Anyways, I, I, I just wanted to kind of talk about it and 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 have your guys' thoughts and, and me once i'm out of gameplay as well i know this will be in the youtube video I, I man the amount of discards is kind of insane isn't it like dude what is up with the what is that connection though can anyone explain to me what that is why does it go from 16 to 40 just back and forth and back and forth and back and forth why does it do that oh god Booyah Nation, okay, well, we might, we might, it might be sweaty, this game, might be, let's see. Hello, everyone. The weather forecasters promised I hope he doesn't play as good as skills, God help me. Now, cry. That's just delay again, like, it, if I make that pass first time, I'm very happy with myself, boys. If I make that pass first time, I'm very happy with myself. But the delay causes Cruyff to take an extra touch. Can I can I show you guys this real quick? Because I, I want you guys to see what what I mean. I want you guys to see what I mean here. I think we because I scored the first goal, I'll actually be able to show you what I mean. Let me let me show you guys with this delay here. Okay, so this goal, I thought this was a pretty good goal. I I don't know. That's up to you guys to decide. Good pass to spot that. Ball roll, double double X pass, take a touch, then go finesse it. Nabil Fakir is going to score that pretty much every time, right? This next play that I score should have been about the same thing. Okay, so here, I, I try the same thing. You see me even load it. I, 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 I literally take a touch, settle myself. I've loaded the pass. That, why? Why? Because of, you see right here, I've loaded the pass. Take a touch. I've now loaded the pass. That ball should now be played over. 
He's taking a touch, the ball's dead, just with your left foot, just dink it into the space. If it's a little bit inaccurate because Cruyff is off balance, whatever the case may be, fine. But that's what it should be. But instead, the game's like, let me take another touch now, and now I'm going to try and force the ball into the space when the pass is gone. And it bounces back, and then I get the second attempt at it in a more broken position. That's the delay I'm talking about that was never there before. In, in this latest gameplay patch, in the servers being screwed, that's the issue right there. I don't know if I explained that properly or show it to you guys properly, but it's just, it's just so nonsensical. Hello, and he does next. Ronaldo. Now from close range, not ideal. That was Kylian Mbappe, by the way. One and a half bars of power from there. Able to set up the chance. Tremendous ball played through. And a goal to give them the lead. They have the reward. Oh, Peter and David. Oh. Leibert. What? To square the game. Benzema takes it forward now. Let's go. Good goal, dude. Here, take a celebration, you weirdo. Good goal. That's a poor pass from me. But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. And he might be through here. Nice. I, I can't hit green, boys. I can't hit green. Anyone else struggling with the servers to even hit green time shots? I hit like one from ten attempts, whereas again, before the servers went to hell, I'd hit I'm not saying I'd hit every shot green, but I'd hit at least like 60 to 70% of my shots green. I struggle now. I can't do it. You can see like most of my shots flash uh, flash gray. Let's go, boys. This is going to be the cheeky outro here for the day, dudes. We got 3-1 and one in playoffs in terrible gameplay. This was a delayed game. I'll leave it up to Armalika whether or not he actually wants to show this gameplay. I mean, we, we had a nice dominant game. Solid eight and one win. We're just chipping away at different areas of Ultimate Team right now. So we got a good amount of playoffs in. Tomorrow we'll get our, we'll continue our playoffs grind. Uh, I wanted to try and work towards a bit of Andre here. So what we're going to do is at the end of the epi as well, twitch.tv slash nick 20 et we're going to keep the uh, Andre grind growing and we're going to keep the pack grind going. At least right now we're at six out of 11. Uh, Four out of ten still? All those finesses were with Benzema and Fakir, weren't they? They were not with Mbappe. Oh, my lord. Anyways, five out of nine for wins. Great. So I actually didn't achieve anything that game that I wanted to. Finesses are so broken, I'm trying to get that one target done immediately so we can just move on. But good lord. Anyways, it's all good. To finish off the day, boys, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the, uh, what was it? 300 plus pp packs that we opened some good pulls in there for for all of you guys but as always i suppose if your pack luck is in your pack luck is in so we're gonna finish the day with 25 pps for myself and imagine they open nice and quick too god bless all right so i'm gonna do the old pie move where you open every other one and see if it helps us out a little bit i'm also gonna try and go with non dupes and main league or position players that are needed for the continuation of these peepees. The plan is for tomorrow's epi, boys. Oh! Nah, I can't, dude. No. No. Uh, my, my, honestly, my YouTube channel and my Twitch chat are going to hate my guts. I just did 300 of these for viewers and got nothing. Nothing. We've now done four? Four on my account? And we get an Arturo Vidal, who, for me, is one of the ones I would have been the happiest to get. <laughs> I can't, bro. I, I just can't. I can't. The The luck on this first owner RTG is just... <laughs> Dude, the title's gonna be... We pack an insane road to the knockout in only 25 player picks. Not even. In, in five. Open five player picks and pack an insane road to the knockout player. 
Holy jeez, dude. He looks so cracked. Too bad he isn't four star, four star, but who cares? He's got a four star weak foot. That's now the Serie A box to box mid hullet roll covered. I, again, don't know too much about Inter's actual Champions League. Are they good to go, boys? I feel like Inter in, in Europe specifically are always good to get into the knockouts at least. So I, I'm hoping. But are, they're not in the group of death, are they? No. Red Red Bull are with City and PSG. They might get grouped, actually. They're with R Madrid, Shakhtar, and Sheriff. Yeah, but come on. They should be able to pull it together. Sheriff beat Madrid, right? Kind of made that a bit crazy. I mean, Shakhtar are actually kind of good. Inter are down bad, but they should be able to pull it together, no? Surely it's not Madrid and Shakhtar that go through. You guys think so? Sheriff is first, dude. I love football for that reason. Anyways, even if they do get grouped, an 85 Vidal is still sick. I would love to see him get to an 87, maybe. 87? 85 to an 86? Or 85 to an 87? 87 or 88. Unreal, man. And there you go. The pie system seems to work so damn well. I can't... Bro, I actually can't believe that we just hit a Vidal. I cannot believe. After all that horrible, delayed gameplay we had to play th there today, the pat gods are like, Okay, Nikki, we got you, baby. We got you. You're sorted. Absolutely sorted. Uh, so I'll just go with the non-dupe, I suppose. I don't care. I don't care what else I get from these, man. These We can get absolutely nothing. It won't matter to me. I'm just making sure we pick strikers, cam, center mids, stuff like that. And then, obviously, when there's two of the same, you pick a main league player because it'll just be easier to get chemistry, of course. Uh, I guess I'll go Jota. Again, Jota, make him a left forward. Can get him on cam if needed. I like that Jota too. He looks good in game. Oyo como va Felipe? The problem is I have nowhere to put this Felipe. Genuinely. So I'm actually going to go with Diallo. Felipe is like, what, 1,200 coins or something? So I'll just go with Diallo. Put him into another SBC. Uh, ooh. Zaha's interesting. I don't think he's worth too much. Not worth anything, actually. But that is a fun card to get. All right. So there's the first run through of these. Capgun Tom would have been super stoked about that. I don't know if he still does, like, the hyperlinks and teams and whatever stuff in his videos, but I know that that would always be something so hyped. <laughs> Cheeky little hyperlink. Look at that Vidal, bro. Are you kidding me? Uh, I'm actually going to go with Labiad just for, again, he's a cam, so easier to get another 75+. plus. So what are we thinking for tomorrow, boys? I, I got rudely cut off as I was trying to make a point at the end of the, uh, the grind here today by this beautiful Vidal. But I think we're going to do like 100 for tomorrow. And then, before they expire, for Wednesday's new team of the week, I think I'm going to do another 100. So for the new team of the week, we start the week off with 100 PPs. What do you guys think? All good? I'll have to... Sp Ooh, a towel. I'll have to spam the living hell out of the uh, BPM. And I mean, if we use a couple hundred K, who cares too? It's not that deep, right? At the end of the day. Um, We'll go with Gedson. So I'm thinking tomorrow's grind, we try and get about 100. And then for Wednesday stream, we craft 100 where, again, it is my day off, but we'll do a 6 p.m. epi where we open maybe 25 or 50 of them. And then I'll save 50 for Thursday 6 p.m. content as well. That way, it'll it'll we'll spread out the content properly, I feel like. um Instead of Bill, I guess we go for the striker, right? Why not? Damn, dude. Arturo Vidal? Insane. Tapsoba, the one I have is a dupe. But is it... I think the one I have is tradable. That might be a cheeky 10k back. Worth the risk. If it's not, oh well. We'll take a Kovacic. Two more? To finish off the day, boys? L. That is such a hard L. Uh, I mean, who... Whatever. Who cares? Whatever it is, is whatever it is. I kind of want to see if this is a... Uh, if I was right about it. No! What a fail. Oh, well. Final one? Dude. Boys, I'm so sorry. I... <laughs> I can't. I don't... I, I'm so sorry. I, I, I genuinely, from the bottom of my heart, I am so sorry. There's no way we just hit a Vidal, Road to the Knockout, and a Virgil van Dijk from 25. There's no way. There is no way that's <laughs> there's no way that's just happened. Oh my god! I don't. I mean, I don't even care what his price is. That's one of my mo. <laughs> He's two hundred and twenty k. 
Oh my god! <laughs> we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!